Hey guys, this is Tim Verdau, only 40 years younger. <laughs> hey guys, how would you like it if you could transform your camera in a camera like this, where you transform yourself 40 years younger? Or maybe you would like to change yourself to something like this. This is also pretty cool, right? Or maybe you want to be something like this. How do you like this filter? You know, there's some pretty cool stuff in here. And today I'm going to show you exactly how you can use this and install this Snapchat function on your OBS, on your Zoom, on your Sky, basically any program that requires a camera. Look, now I'm with a beard. Look what happens. Uh, within a few seconds, my beard disappeared. Isn't that weird? <laughs> and that's all by using Snapchat filters on OBS. But like I said, you can use this on any platform that requires your camera. So let me share my screen and let me show you what this actually is. Uh, the first thing that you need to do if you want to use this is go to Google and download or search for Snapchat camera downloads. And that will bring you to snapcamera.snapchat.com. And here you can download the Snapchat camera. So you can simply click on download uh, if you're in a PC or on a Mac and simply install this on your computer. And that allows you to use these filters as a camera. Now, how does that work? Once you have installed Snap Camera, you can open the application and you can see it in here like you see it right now. So right now I don't have any filters, but when I click on the filter, you'll see that the filter automatically changes to the person that I want to be. So there are a bunch of filters in here. I really like this baby one uh, that you can apply. And I mean, look at yourself and then you are on the Skype meeting or on the Zoom meeting or you're recording yourself on Zoom with these filters. I think it's pretty cool. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it myself. I'm going to use it for fun uh, on Zoom. I know that for sure. But I thought, let's share it. It's totally different than the stuff that I'm normally sharing, but I thought it's fun to share. People like this. So I thought, let's share it. As you can see, there are so many filters inside here. This is a weird one. Look at this. I got my hair here, a bunch of hair, or maybe you want to have real dark eyes like you're seeing right here. There are so many filters that you can play with. Uh, you just need to go over them. So how does it work? You install the application. And once you have to install this application, let me let me turn myself to the baby face. Once you have installed this application, let's say you want to use this in OBS. What you need to do is you need to open OBS. So let's open OBS and let me show you how you can uh, add this as a camera. But basically, it works exactly the same like you normally add a camera. And by the way, if you don't know how to use OBS, uh, look at the tutorial here. I think it will appear at the top where I have a full tutorial on how to use OBS also with green screen. Very cool tutorial. People really like it. So make sure you check out that video as well. And by the way, give this video a thumb and a subscribe if you like it. All right. So how does it work? This is OBS. And what you need to do is you need to create a scene here at the left side. So let's call this scene. Let's call this uh, Snapchat. And let's press OK. Then in the in the sources here, it, this is a Dutch version, but it's called sources. You need to click on this plus and then you need to choose the video capture device. And when you click on that, you do you, you name this Snapchat filter and then click OK. And then what you need to do is you need to select your camera. Now, look what happens once you have installed Snapchat, the Snapchat camera, it will appear like a normal camera on your computer. So when I hit Snapchat camera, you will see there it is. And make sure you use the high resolution in here. Press OK and then make it big like this. And my computer is a bit slow right now because all of the processes that are running. Uh, but normally this camera is really fast. And this is how you can add it to OBS. And again, if you want to see more about OBS, how to use this, make sure to check out the tutorial. I'm going to close OBS because my computer is almost <laughs> burning down. Uh, so, okay, this is an OBS. Let's say you want to use this in Zoom. You simply open the Zoom application. And then once you're loading, once Zoom is opened, you go to Zoom here, go to Preferences. And then within your preferences, go to the video tab in here 
And as you can see, this is my camera with my green screen. But what you can do here again is you can use the Snapchat camera. Now look what happens. Boom, there is the baby face again. And this way you will have this baby face when you're in a Zoom meeting. You can talk to other people with your baby face on. How cool is that? All right, and then the last thing, uh, let's say you want to use this in Skype. It, it works all the same with each application. Simply go to Skype, go to audio and video settings. And again, in here in Skype, and my computer is really running slow right now, but it works the same here. This is go to audio and video and choose your snap camera. And as you can see right now, it changes to the baby face again. Let me put it back. Let me quit things quickly before this recording stops. Uh, but this is how you can use the Snapchat function here. Look how cool this is. This is me. It's running really slow now, but you get the idea uh, how you can use Snapchat. Let me see if I can get rid of this filter right now. And let me quit Snapchat filter. Yes, so hey, there is the speed again. But this is how you can use the Snapchat filters on your computer in every kind of meeting where you need your camera. All right, that's it for today. Really short video. I thought it was fun to share with you. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit this like button if you like this video and uh, hope to see you in my next video. Have an awesome day. Talk soon. Bye-bye.